finished my Stranger Things pour and it gave me an idea for something else. Um, if you didn't see my last video, someone on TikTok asked me to do a Stranger Things inspired pour. I did it like my version. It wasn't very like red and bloody and strange. I made it, tried to make it as pretty as possible. Uh, but the colors I mixed up for that uh, were TLP, which you, you will be able to see, Brulee, which is their orangey copper interference. TLP Shimmer, which is like a turquoisey green. TLP Velvet, which is their blue interference. And I made a custom piggy with TLP Maraschino, which is their bright red. And I mixed it with sequins, which is a violet interference. Now, what I got inspired by was because I basically was painting with my palette knife shapes. So, you know, I don't know if you know, I love flowers. I want to make a flower so we're not talking cells. I want to paint with my palette knife with the piggies and I want to make a layered flower. Is it going to work? I don't know. That's so these are the colors I'm going to use. Oh, and I have lemon sorbet. Okay. Let's let's do it. I don't know. Okay. So, I'm still away. I don't have many supplies. So, I mean, it would be nice if I had a range of these, but I don't. So, I think the outside I'm going to use this and then as it gets smaller, I'll do this. Now, I am using show and Williams color to go. And I don't want to spin this out that much. So I want to have it already pretty flat. Like maybe I'll spin it slightly. But I want it pretty. Hold on, let me. Did I already put too much paint? Could be. I want it pretty because I don't want it to, to move too much. And since I'm not doing cells, I don't really care about warping or anything like that. So let me just spread this out a little bit more. I could have put too much already. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, okay. Get it back down, really spread her out. Nice, oh, and I found a bloop anyways. Okay, and we're gonna go like this. Okay, go back to the center, you really? Want a good, okay, we're good. Okay, now we are all stretched out. Uh, yeah, just making sure we're getting bloops off. Bloops, okay. <laughs> now I am pretty pleased, I think. Okay, we're in the center. Whew. Now, <clears throat> I am gonna start, now I have a choice. I can either put the color here and swipe it, but I think I might have a more accurate situation, and I just got paint on it, is if I put it on the back of my knife. So I'm gonna clean that. I'm gonna start with my shimmer. I've never done it this way before. Just paint, no cell activator. But I'm loading it like I would cell activator, okay, on the back of my knife. Oh gosh, what's gonna happen? I'm going to slowly drag it. Hmm. No, it wastes too much. See, it wasted too much pigment. So now we know that's not the way to go. So I'm going to place it on the canvas first. So we don't want to waste piggies. Okay. Try it again. See how that works. I don't know if it's actually gonna work, and it probably will take quite a long time. But oh, and see what I just did there? I didn't aim properly, so I got the pill paint right on top. <laughs> Which also you don't want to do. But let's just keep going. You definitely need a steady hand, and I just made two mistakes, but don't worry, we're going to get to it. I really just have to aim better, because I wasn't looking where I was going. Okay, again. 
Okay. We're gonna get there. I'm actually gonna do two like that. Okay. That should do it. Don't get any pillow paint. There we go. Carefully dragging her. Okay. There we kind of got a leaf, right? Don't worry. It will it'll make sense soon. I mean, just guessing. I don't really know. Let's continue. Okay. There we go. Definitely if I had like all my tools I could use, I'd probably use a smaller one to be honest. Okay. Just making petals, possibly. Oh, I made a little boo-boo there, I might fix that later. Okay. This does look pretty though when it's thinned out. It will thin out when I um, spin it, but okay. So basically the idea is after I do this layer, I'm going to do another color on top. Oh, Lisa. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh, look at this color though. Look, oh, oh, I really want to make sure you see it. Hold on. Oh, okay. We're blown out. That's no good. Wait, I have these like lights and they're so intense. But, oh, this color totally sucks. You can't see anything. Wait, I want to make sure you see the amazing sparkle. Um, oh, it doesn't want to let you see any color at all. So, I'm going to stop it for a minute and make sure you can see this color. Okay, I think this is better. It's so hard, but I just want to make sure. I hate when I do... There, now you can see it. I hate when I do these videos and I and I see how good it looks, but nobody else can see it. And I took off my glove to do that. Let me get a new glove. Because you know we're clean over here. Okay, let's continue this really fun flower. Oh, that's taking already too long. And you see the edges, because the paint is so glossy, um, start to kind of fade and that could look pretty cool. Like they fade into the background a bit. Oh gosh. Okay. I'll probably speed up the rest of it because this is taking forever. I don't even know if it's worth it. Okay. Um, now, ugh. one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you want an uneven amount because that's just the way it is. I don't know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, one more. And then on top of that, by the way, I'm going to do velvet. And then we're going to see how it goes, right? Okay. There we go. And we'll just keep going round and round. Ugh, I'm not picking up the pillow paint, which I keep doing. It's getting quite messy. Okay, now that is the first shimmer color. And you're saying to yourself, this looks disastrous. And I might agree with you, but as you know, we cannot judge until she's done. So, you know what I'm gonna start to do? I'm gonna use the small one. And I'm gonna go a little lower in between, okay? Let's see if this is a smarter idea. Okay, so we have velvet. Over here, okay? We're just filling it in over here, okay? Keep going. I know it's looking messy, but we've gotta believe what's gonna happen. Okay, cleaning my knife, velvet, dragging her. Okay, that was a nice velvet petal. 
Let me just show you what velvet looks like. So you can see the difference, hopefully. Okay. Oh, Lordy. We'll put the velvet over here. happening my glove is going in so I gotta fix my glove I need to get I didn't think I had small hands but apparently I do have small hands okay so let's see yep looking cool like listen the colors you can't go wrong with the colors it's just gonna be my execution that makes or breaks it right okay go <laughs> okay. you know what maybe I should take off this glove I don't want it ruining anything okay here we go so after this I'm gonna do my red I thought I would just put some relaxing music, nothing, I don't really say anything of interest. And I just continued layering my petals with the different colors. So enjoy and let me know what you think of the final product.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different. There's no cells. And I was just trying out a new idea. If you liked it, give me a little like, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, uh, and if you want to see more of these fun things, please do so. I really enjoy playing around with these paints. Let me guys, no, let me know what you guys think of my layered palette knife flower. Is it a keeper or should I embellish it? I'm thinking of embellishing it after. I don't know. Leave it in resin or embellish it. You guys will let me know. All right. Stick around for the color under the light. It's pretty amazing. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.